Ecco, un momento. Ciao, buonasera a tutti. Un altro momento. Io faccio la, la, la valletta. <ride> che direbbe Franco Cassano? Voi pensate che siamo di Diano, la leggezza? Allora, grazie mille di essere venuti a questo incontro che in realtà è poi una, una prova aperta tra due mondi apparentemente lontani, no? Cioè Jack, che lo conoscete per le sue poesie, è un gruppo di artigiani elettronici. Nicodemo cantautore, che qualcuno di voi lo conosce già, oltre alle sue collaborazioni con Teresa Desio, 24 Camera, Gardo e tanti altri, soprattutto per i lavori da solista che da qualche anno ci stanno regalando visioni diverse no? anche della musica a sud dell'innovazione eh, va bene io direi che quando c'è la poesia non servono le parole quindi se Sergio è pronto potremmo anche dopo questo reading che in realtà è, è un po' una prova generale aperta di, di un evento che si terrà martedì prossimo, dopodomani a San Salvatore Telesino, alla balzia di Benedettina di San Salvatore Telesino, dove con la Casa della Poesia, Tabula Rasa e altre gener gener organizzazioni, Jack incontrerà un centinaio di giovani studenti che si confrontano con la sua poesia. Ciao ciao, buona serata a tutti. Sono molto felice, contento di essere qui per leggere la mia poesia, vecchi e nuovi recentemente parlando. Ah, eh, io comincio a ah, scusi, questa è una band, una band orchestra. Ah, creato oggi il nome è nato per Jack nato per Jack bravo, bravo, bravo. per la prima poesia io voglio compagni soltanto la batteria Ok? Let's go. Questa poesia sul uh, posto dove io sono nato. New York, New York. It's big. It's ugly. I hate it. I love it. I'm free. Oh, talk to me. Can't you hear me? I can't leave it. I'll do anything for it. It's so big. It's filthy. It's so sweet. I adore it. I'm staying. I'll never leave. It's in me. It's so cruel. I hate it. I love it. It's fine. I own it. It's fine. Again and again I say, I hate war. I love it. It's disgusting. It's awesome. I love it. I won't go. I promise. It's beautiful. Talk to me. Can't can you hear me loving? Oh, it's so brutal. It's so shit. Talk to me. Tell me what I should do. Anything. It's marvelous. I'll never stop loving it. Never. 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 La prossima poesia è una poesia sulla strada di San Francisco dove io vivo. Human interlude for Terry Garvin. She was standing against the wall near the Tevra Hotel holding a plastic cup as it began to rain. I dug for a coin, walked up to her and dropped it in. It fell to the bottom 
of an orange drink, I blushed, looked into her ravaged eyes and skin and hair prematurely graying and said I was sorry. I thought you needed some bread. I do, she said and smiled. I was just having a little drink. And we stood there laughing together as we watched the raindrops fall on the orange lake above the drowning money. The prossima è il, il primo di uh, una prima della poesia che io ho chiamata Arcano, Arcanes. Ar uh, io sono onorato essere in questa zona perché la mia traduttrice alla computer Raffaella, è Raffaella Mazzano e Sergio e Yoguli, le due ha pubblicato un due libri uh, nel passato di dieci arcani bilingue e dodici arcani e dieci giorni fa ventotto arcani e in americano solo in 2006 ha pubblicato mille pagine di mille libri uh, di Arcanes uh, in Salerno, Italy. Io sono onorato a essere qui in questa zona. Questo arcano è entitled The Syrian Arcan, è un gioco parole sul Siria e Sarin. The Siren Arcane One. Seriously, they lie there, one next to the other, like sleeping angels. Only their children murdered by Sarin. They look so serenely peaceful, no agony on their small faces. Boys and girls lying one beside another in what seems utterly tranquil. In another scene, as bodies of men and women appear as facts of death in war, one seeks the answer to the question, who could have done this? Who could have ordered the colorless, odorless, tasteless chemical inserted into rockets and thrown at the towns of Ain Tarma, Zamalka, and Jobad. Who cries at the odds blind owl? They all look so at peace in death. One wonders whether after years of bombs, of rockets, and burials, of tears and wounds, Sarin might after all be a mercy. No more shuddering, screams, no more wetting themselves, no more eating tree bark, no more exploded brains on Mishmush Street. Two. Seriously, in the matter of two fierces, with as many lies, fight as bullshit from both sides, and even the droning old bomber and the Vlad the merely Putin on a face that's at a loss when it comes to Bashir al-Assad. Because everywhere turns now, there's zero, which is Sufra. And even that heroic number suffering horribly. A share of the oil underground everywhere would certainly sound better to ears of strafe and strife than wilderness nowhere. What Syria's become more a mass mess or cesspool 
of genocide, with human insects on wall sides, with little hope for agreement between government and rebels, infested by this time with rapidly rotten contradictions of mercenaryhood, attacking even Ma'alula with the Ar Aramaic tongue that Jesus sounded is still spoken, slicing off the eye in a wapi, hello, and leaving just hell, a town that tasted like cardamom ice cream sprinkled with lemon with the cry sounding like soon at sundown but which is the question who amid the who who of the owls insisting on knowing who did the sarin who 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 three you did with your slavery, your czars, your national independence, your war to end all wars, your hate of authentic revolution, your national socialism, your religious love of gangsters, your chemistry tables for injections of the junk of anti-Semitism, your love of pyramids of shoes, your adoration of the gold in the teeth of dead people, your lionized MPNCWS, the Musso, Peron, Nixon, corporate world state, your Simonized Cadillacs, your Zionized stars, your Enola Gays, your chemtrails, your turn to the left, right, left, right, your Agent Orange, your global pornography with squirts of oil coming out of every vagina, your dream of profits beginning in bed, your traffic in women and munitions, and the wars you make to keep them flowing, your speed freak, your hatred of the future, which is, after all, a child, your zillionaire robots that lay off millions every day, while your banner of greed waves over the whole planet for the so very much that you have, which adds up actually to nothing, and nothing again, and hopeless nothing now. Oh, may you all realize you're tasteless as you are, you're odorless as you smell, you're colorless as you look, and breathe, breathe yourself at long, as you very long last. over me like someone who walked away and left her white dress with the little blue flowers behind 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 going into the future radiantly naked what am I to do with it put it on I don't wear dresses. I love what's inside them. But this one's so sad and alone. I'll just let it lie a while on my chest against the curve of my arm and just let blue flowers be blue. Now, 
the happiness. There's a happiness, a joy in the soul that's been buried alive in everyone and forgotten. It isn't your barroom joke or tender, intimate humor or affections of friendliness or a big, bright pun. They're the surviving survivors of what happened when happiness was buried alive, when it no longer looked out of today's eyes and doesn't even manifest when one of us dies. We just walk away from everything alone with what's left of us, going on being human beings without being human, without that happiness. figura poeta italiano lui più grande poeta anche se lui è conosciuto più forse forse come il come è una cinematografica ma lui è veramente fondato la fondazione di quello uomo è poesia. The days of the dead are came, one. I hope for nothing in the light of this entrapolando in which the day on which he died, not simply murdered, but as with all who mean much more than they were, like a whole nation, even a world, assassinated. America's voting to re-elect the war machine to continue clubbing and then running over entire people. So here he is, one of Italy's grandest poets, who's laying in his grave in Casarza, a small Friuli town for 29 years. Six small laurel trees over him and Susanna Colucci, his mother, lying beside him in touching irony. And the sound sorrow makes when falling to itself and touching no bottom with its sadness of blood and its melancholy of mind in a world out of joint. Not in the sense of not having one between one's fingers or sitting in a joint and drinking away the downright injustice of this day, but meaning that a bought and paid for a constitution with a grin and a gun at the nape of the world has, among other things, assassinated Pier Paolo Pasolini again. Two. What serial days of the dead to come? Even Kid Sister Marilyn, whom he poeticized so beautifully, is in the wings shuddering on this cenotaph I'm constructing of Aztec peacock feathers six feet long. Photos of Mark, Lenin, beside a hammer and sickle flag. Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus too. And Jesus the Christ. And throw in Rumi and King as well. A mountain of hair and a pyramid of shoes. It's the pits. It's the pits. It's the literal pits. It's the pits that rule the world. the tips of my forefinger and thumb holding this pen. All the stars that died years and years ago. My absentee votes for them and neither nor between two men of war. Adave 
me but for the ah, there you are. Let's have a great D of D. D of D of D of D. Ah, have a me but for the. Look at that street kid, six years old. A tiny accordion in his hand. A cardboard box with nothing in it at his squatting knees. Singing on Bahadur Street to passing crowds. And all who take notice of him are a bank guard who shoots him five meters away where he starts up again. A cop standing over him who gets up and disappears like in a Pasolini movie. And our eyes with coins in them flinging themselves around the corner or wherever he's running to. Three. Standing naked to my waist in the hot sun on a Baronese balcony above Salerno. I hear the clop of hooves, then see beside the cars doing their ordinary rounds in the piazza below. Thirteen riders on horseback. The last one a woman, some wearing cowboy hats, one wrapped in an American flag, heading up the street like a posse of disciples of Bush. Oh, day of the dead tomorrow, when it's over America, over there, over there, where all is battery, derangement, and carelessness. What days of the dead ahead, full of bodies on so many hot corners of the world, pieces of Shaheed and his or her victim, and the bluster and twisted tripe palavering out of the mouths of the media. The Constitution is speaking. Warbo, Zogbo, for the gang swarming bashes in this desert of consumerism. Goonbo, to keep kill on the lips and blow away those blowjob communist bastards. Beat them with two by fours. Run them over with their own cars. Break into the cowering houses like the rain of bullets between the eyes before they even kill them, before they reach for and blow us up. The zero within the zero has been completed. The left, a confirmed frog growth, a wealth wine. And the right is a dirty sun with a big black oily eye. But Pasolini's ashes from his burning, burning spirit of Estemia under earth. Pasolini's ashes rise on Phoenix wings of flame and cry. Bush shit! Bush shit! Obama! Hunward, crashing soldiers, marching to the fear in the dead of autumn with your mugs and beers. You who bomb and kill the very origin of humanity. You who shred truth and work up vulture appetites for blood in this carrion world. Soon we'll smell the blossom of victory, its fragrance enchanting you irresistibly, adoringly. You'll fall to your knees to smell it, and it will oblige you by blowing up in your dead face. The proto man of poesy. Hmm, so poisy. That should be poisy. This solitary act. I can make up anything when I get down to this solitary act. And 
by makeup, I mean I can sit still and let whatever rises rise and fall from my fingers onto the page. It's no trick, nor is it exactly a discipline. I love this alone. Perhaps more than anything. More even than you. It's like being translucently alive and at the same time dead. A buzzing in my ears reminds me as well that even a robot has hearing. I stand at this river edge in a scene as natural as anything, pushing my pen across the water. I'm also on this bridge, about to jump. Nothing can help me, and it does. I land in the time I've tried so hard to escape. Nothing still up there urging me on. I can't write another word without kissing the ghost of myself on the rump in the darkness that tastes like tomorrow with its hands up, surrendering to the dawn with its teeth in a glass of clear water. I told you, I can make up anything. anniversario centenniale quest'anno per forse mi penso anche sui Toto e Grande ma mi penso che questo uomo era il più grande universale attore nel cinema The Chaplin Arcane won a hundred years since kid auto races in Venice. I stand before the mirror and shave my Stalin stash off. Affixing your little black patch of a mustache, slipping into the big baggy pants with braces and two small threadbare jackets and two flat foot flugies with a floy floy and with my fedora and the twirling cane I call Kinahora, I spin into the other room where Aggie's on Skype with Bella, age nine, and Maya, age five, 6,000 miles away in Sweden. And would you believe, no one is not laughing, absolutely hysterically laughing, all three, except me, two. Now I need to go behind this curtain and slip out of the tram and get down to my me. Who be? I ask you who know me best of all, after all these years, surely you know my two flat feet, and when I sat at the table yesterday, I missed the seat, and I no longer dot my I's or cross my T's, and you who think me one of the best know I'm really one of the worst, that I need it all the time. I need it in books, in films, wherever I can get it. Cause it's the dawn of everything that goes on in me. It's the dawn of birth and the whole ball game. The nakedness of body, your body, your thigh. The warmth of your breast approaching. The yearning for the possibility of it at any moment. That the girl in you, the young woman might awaken to what she needs outside the quarters though. For here I am with my bent old cane, 
shoulders out of the jacket and arms an immigrant to myself hung on a hook above my shoes in a corner a hundred years a perennial me in the limelight a king in new york with a slap with a stick and the flowing length of the sex of water the plotima poesia is uh the donne come qui conosciuto più in questa vita mother we are not in this world a long time ago it happened it was over the world the war the world war i took you by the hand through it tiniest hand tiniest star you didn't move then I was dead, then you were dead. In the open mouth of grief, there is a candle. I am not with my breath. I am the slow peeling away of the skin and all that all the deaths I've seen registers in my eyes. I have been a laughing tree beside a stove of honeyed bananas. I have been a silver fox and the elegance of heels. I have been what has brought you down and the words you look up. I have been the spit upon and the ganged, the slain and the invincible, the bitch of moons, the whiplash of compassion behind the drug of sluts, the red thread that liberates all convicts the thimble that balances your jiggers, the kalimba that wraps your nightmares in lullabies, the power of birth when a child dies. We are not in this world. A long time ago it happened, it was over the world, the war, the world war. I took you by the hand through it, tiniest hand, tiniest star. Why should I weep now, now that you've entered the darkness? Many like me are around you. Our ether is without end. Should we never speak again, you shall write our conversation. Should my voice fall short of your heart, but that is impossible. You're still such a child. I'm weeping at the window. Other voices will lift mine and carry it to the center of your breathing. Oh, my beloved, when you burst into flames, when your bones were blistered, at those precise moments, who drove the seeds in a rapid torrent of thighs and targeted the yearning eggs with glory? When you grew like a prima into a text of rage, at all the injustice of this profiteering hell, when your mind was broken, when your sex was split like Korea, Vietnam, like the North and South, when poisons came with pleasure and the antidote was dead, who cut with the air as if wringing a chicken's neck? Who tore the feathers and flung them to cushion your fall? I am the creature who runs through the streets screaming your name against the mockery. I am the sleep of the suicide and the cataract of immemorial hair. I am the attack of liberty on the heart of heart and the poem on the heart of hearing, the solitude, the grace, the smile that returns your smile from the depths of the biology of labor and joy. Only the heartbeats of the dithering approach, only the soul's rums of the cosmos divine. We are not in this world. A long time ago it happened, it was over. The world, the war, the world war. 
I took you by the hand through it, tiniest hand, tiniest star.